Many say that dreaming is a part of art, not of science. I say that dreaming is a part of the art of science. How would your life have to be in order for you to feel that it is fulfilled? Would a fulfilled life mean for you to be remembered? Are you afraid of death and of illness? Would reaching the end of your life feel more bearable if you had an active, healthy life and would be surrounded by your children and grandsons? Let's not be afraid to ask the big question. Have you ever dreamt about immortality? How would you choose to become immortal? Through the legacy of your children? By hanging on to a quality life for as long as you can through a superior genetic makeup? Have you ever dreamt about fulfilling your life through your perfect family, about how your children would be, or for yourself to be in perfect health when you turn 80 years old? I'm sure you did. What else would dreams be about? Who dreams about illness, dying, and loneliness anyway? Well, this is how assisted reproductive technologies and biotechnologies came to be a reality, because somebody not only dared to dream, but to also do something about it. I am Alexandra Huidu, and I invite you to join me in World Lumen Congress 2021 and in my masterclass, Dreaming of Immortality, Assisted Reproductive Technologies and Biotechnologies. We will talk of things that are already part of our lives and that make some people's dreams become a reality, even as we speak. In vitro fertilization, surrogacy, sperm, ova and embryo donation, cryogenics, stem cells research, sex selection. And then we will speak about a brave new world with genetically enhanced human beings, with hybrid beings, synthetic embryos, cloning, solo reproduction. Do these things seem far-fetched to you? Well, they are upon us. They are a reality we will soon have to deal with. Actually, we will have to deal with people's dreams, new dreams coming true every day through the miracles of science. What hinges your dreams? Is it the law unfairly telling you there are things that are possible but unreachable because of some superior interests? Or is it society who is afraid of change? Or maybe just some theories stemmed by the minds of some thinkers that invent principles, many of which having nothing to do with your dreams? Like, let's say, bioethicists, who do not seem to care about people's dreams, but rather more about their own processes of thought that are so far away from your dreams that you simply cannot get your mind around them. This masterclass will be about a scientific, comparative, bioethical, sociological and legal perspective on assisted reproductive technologies and biotechnologies. It is a challenge to ask the scientific questions about the dreams of a perfect family perfect children and perfectly healthy life and of counter dreams about the limits of one's autonomy, not doing harm and responsibility, about the superior interest of the human species, the fairness in sharing resources and accessibility to medical technology. Do you ever feel like you couldn't understand someone else's dreams? That you could not empathize with them? Or contrarily that you felt their frustration, their hurt, their anger, and the injustice in their lives. Are you as open-minded as you think? Would you have a beer with your best friend's clone? Would you invite a hybrid human embryo animal being to supper? Would you take orders from a five-year-old genetically enhanced genius who would become your boss? Would you elect for presidency a human being that has been morally enhanced through genetic engineering? What is acceptable to you? Up to where would you feel comfortable with major changes in society brought on by medical science? I'll let you think about this until the 25th of May 2021 when World Lumen Congress begins. And then we will have a talk about your dreams, your fears, your limits, and what it takes to overcome them. Because dreaming of immortality may not seem as simple as just dreaming.